Hi guys! Today we'll be finishing up my Harry Potter repaint by giving him clothes. Please excuse my voice in this video, I have a cold so I might sound a little off. I repainted this Harry Potter inspired doll in a previous video, which I'll link it to in the info box. I bought the doll second hand and it came with a pair of black pants, which I will reuse for this video. Let's start with the sweater. I place the doll on a piece of paper so I can start sketching out the basic shape of the pattern around him. This is the basic shape for the front and back. Next up, measure out for the sleeves. For the sweater, I'll be using a grey sock since it looks like knit in doll size. Trace the pattern pieces and cut them out, leaving room to sew. Then sew the two base pieces together at the shoulders, right side to right side. Then fold over the neckline and sew it in place. Sew in both sleeves before sewing down both sides. Fold up the edge of the bottom as well as the sleeves and sew them in place to finish. Measure the neckline so you can cut out a piece of white fabric for the collar. I folded the piece in half and used my hot iron so to keep the shape. Apply a thin fabric glue to the edges to keep them from fraying. Then glue or sew it to the neckline. To make the tie, I used acrylic paint and painted it onto a strip of the same white fabric as the collar. Knot the tie and add it around the collar. I used the same paint to add detail to the bottom of the sweater. Now let's make him some simple shoes. Start by sketching the foot onto some cardstock. Then I took some leather looking fabric and cut up pieces like this. If you want a more detailed explanation on making shoes, I have a whole playlist of doll shoes on my channel.
To make the cloak, I made the basic pattern like I did before. Cut the pieces out from black fabric and then sew them together in the same order we did the sweater. Once the basic cloak is done, then cut away all the excess at the edges. I do this because this fabric won't fray. For the lining, use some red fabric and cut a piece that will fit the end of the sleeves. Then glue it in place. Cut away any excess lining and fix the edges with glue. I made the pattern for the hood by holding up a piece of fabric onto the doll and then sketching out the shape. As a final detail, I drew a simple version of the Hogwarts crest onto the white fabric with acrylic paint and then glued it to the cloak. Finally, I made him a simple wand by filing down the end of a wooden dowel, painted it with acrylic paint and then sealed it in with Mod Podge. I've showed how to make a more interesting wand in a previous video, which I'll also link you to in the info box. I also made some Harry Potter inspired sweets previously, which I'll also link you to. And there we are. That's a Harry Potter repaint completed. This Harry Potter was inspired by the one portrayed in the movies rather than the books. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!